Hi, Amanda Hartman, speech pathologist here from Assistive Wear, and welcome to this morning's Facebook Live. I hope you found the right time and the right place. Um, obviously, we're changing time zones across the world at the moment, so it's getting a little bit confusing, even for all of us. I can see we are going live. I'm going to turn on comments. So please leave me a message. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Jenna. Hi, Luna. Hi, I hope you're all there ready to go today because oh, we have to do, do some things that are fun. fun today. And I bet that you guys, I know, you, you. all want to, to see, see me sing. La, 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 la. Maybe I'll sing. Let's check the schedule for what's planned today. If this is your first Facebook Live, let us know. I've got my friends Pam and Isabel and Barbara all joining. Good morning, Taylor. Mwah! So it's great to see you all. You can leave comments on the um, Facebook Live video and I'm trying to read along and respond to some of them. Sometimes there's a delay with the internet and the time, so I'll do my best. And um, this video also, after it's finished, will be a lot, uh, available on the assistive web page for you to watch later. So that's always good too. So invite your friends, join them, tell them about our sessions that we're having because the more the merrier. Let's check the session for what the schedule for what we're going to do today. So it is, you've come to... Miss Amanda's reading session. You've come to Miss Amanda's reading session. Hi Joanna, thanks for joining us. Hi Amanda, Dominic, are you there? Hi. Um, so thank you so much for, for coming along. So we are going to read the book. Read a book. We have a different book today. I've got my communication, quick communication boards. We're going to read a different kind of book today. We're going to read a book that is on my iPad. Mm, and actually you guys will be able to get it too because it's one of those ones you can. And then writing. We've got to do some writing. And then... Dog houses. Dog houses? Something about dogs? Oh, that's right. We're going to work on the core word in today. Because we're going to put some dogs in their houses. What fun. Fantastic. Do you know, um, I also turned my camera around today. So we're facing the other side of my little therapy room. Um, hopefully so that you can see it better with the glare. If you're just joining, my name's Amanda Hartman, speech pathologist. Welcome to today's reading session. And I also wanted to point out, after we've done our activities, questions. we have time for questions. And that's a chance where you guys can ask me any questions that you might have. Hi, Cindy. Thanks so much for joining us. So, you know what? Um, I'm going to ask you guys a question today about the Facebook Lives because we always love to get feedback from you. But anyway, let's go because as I said, read the book. we're going to read a book and I have got a book today in Pictello. It's called Dogs Like to Play. Now this is a book, oh hang on, I have something to say. Oh, we're going to see the dogs that they like to play. I wonder, what do dogs like to play? I think we'll have to think about it and maybe we will do some writing about it too. That will be good. This book is a Tar Heel Reader. Uh, that is a free website and my friends are going to share the link to the Tar Heel Reader website. They're even going to share you the link to this very book so that you can get access to it. But I did something a little bit tricky and if you follow the instructions on the Assistive Wear website, you can also, I actually converted the Tar Heel Reader to a Pictello story. And that means if I have it as a Pictello story, I can read it aloud really easily on my iPad. So you guys should, you guys should try that out too. Okay, so let's ready. Come and have a look at a book. It's a different book. Come and have a look at a book. Dogs like to play. Oh yes. Dogs like to play. Yes, that's right. Oh, I need a thing word. I need an animal. And you know what? I wrote the word dog on my favorites list. Dog. 
because we're going to talk about dogs today. So I wrote it on my quick communication board. Because dogs are my all describing word. Oh, one of my favourites. Ha ha. Okay, so dogs. Dogs like to play, play, play. They like to play all day. Do they play all day? Maybe. All right, let's turn the page. Dogs like to play with toys. Oh, look, I have something to say. I need a describing word. <gasps> that dog is very nice. <laughs> and he's playing with some toys. Mm -hmm. That's right. <gasps> Let's do some more. Turn the page. Some dogs play with balls. Oh my goodness. Did you know I'm going to just get, pick up my pick prola quo to go. I'm going to put it on the side and go home. Oh, it's very tiny and hard to see. He likes like. to play Three. things. Oh my goodness. It's almost too small for Miss Amanda. Ball. Oh, he likes to play ball. <laughs> okay. Let me pick it up. Get rid of it. I think I'll use my big communication board. But you, that's just a little trick you can do. Okay. He likes to play, play, play. He likes to play with balls. Fun. Oh, I have a question. Let me say, hi, if you're just joining, we're reading a book about dogs today. I have a question. Do you, do you have, do you have a dog at your house? Who has a dog at their house? I know my friend Taylor has a dog called Zoe. Hi Taylor and Zoe. Who else has a dog? Leave me a comment. You know you can. Let's see. We've got lots of new people joining. If you're just joining, we're reading. You can leave comments on the video um, and I can hopefully answer and respond to you. <laughs> anyway, let's keep going. Two dogs. Hi, Teddy and Rosie. Vanessa has a dog. Oh, yay, lots of dog lovers. Or maybe you, oh, maybe you like cats or, or birds or fish. Oh, and fish. Finn has a dog. Dallas. Hi, Dallas. Oh, so many dogs. Oh, Joanna. Oh, she likes something different. Joanna likes cats. Okay, but we need to do more. We have to do some more. Turn the page. Some dogs play with buckets. Oh, look, that doggy. Oh, remember our call word today is in. He's in the bucket. <laughs> Let's go. Dogs find silly ways to play. Oh, he's being silly. Oh, he is in the boat. <laughs> oh, look. Dimity has two cats. See, we're all different. We're all different. And I do not, I do not think that your cats would like to go in that boat. No way. Oh. Some dogs climb in boxes. Oh, a dog, look, he goes in the box. And yes, oh, I have something to say. I have something to say. Let me open my proloquo to go. I, I, I know no. that, mm -hmm, I need an animal, that Cat. cats like, like to, to go, go in, in things. I need a household word in boxes. Box. I know cats like to go in box. Cats like to go in boxes and so do, do. animals, dogs. Dog. And so do dogs. Do dog. Yep. Okay, back to our story. Oh, that's the same. <gasps> Describing word. That's something the same about cats and dogs. Okay, we're reading a Pictello story called Dogs Like to Play. Hey, oh, <laughs> he likes to 
play, play, play. He likes to play in boxes. He's in the box. Okay. Some dogs jump in piles of leaves. Oh, look. He jumps. He jumps in the box. In, not in the box. Silly. In the leaves. Welcome if you're joining. There's still lots dogs of people like joining. Dogs like to play with their owners. Hi, if you're just joining the Facebook Live. Now I can see Finn already has, <laughs> already has a question. I'm gonna make sure if I don't answer that live, I'm gonna come back and answer you, um, comment on the video later, Finn. All right, oh, oh look, they're playing together. Okay. Some dogs play fetch with their owners. Oh, these guys, they're gonna throw the ball and the dog will go and get it. It's called fetch. <laughs> the ball. Hmm, that's what he likes to play. Okay, let's see. Some dogs play in water with their owners. <gasps> Look, this dog, he goes in the water. He likes to go in the pool. <gasps> swim, swim, swimming round, swimming in the pool. I can see a dog swimming in the pool. Hmm, that looks, oh, I have something to say. Describing word, that looks fun. Okay, let's go. Dogs like to play. Yes, dogs do like to play. What a nice dog. Oh, and that's the end. This story is, oh, where is it? It's finished. What a good book. Let's give it a star rating. What did we think of the story today? It was about dogs. Maybe you would like one about cats, but let's see. Hmm, I'm thinking about this book. How many stars am I going to give this? Oh, I'm gonna give it five stars. I really liked it. Five stars, I really liked it. Okay, anybody else wanna give the book a rating today? I like to give it five stars. Cause I like to say how much I liked something. Not if it was just if it was good or it was bad, but how good or how bad it was. That's why I do a star rating. But we need to check our schedule. If anybody else is going to give a star rating. <laughs> okay, you're all very quiet out there today. Now you have to get ready to work because let's check the schedule. It's time to do writing. some writing. And I will need your help. I will help. need your help to do some writing. Oh, five stars from Isabel and Barbara. Thank you guys. Great. Okay, because we are going to do some chart writing and I got this, oh, I've got lots of photos, but I got a, do a photo of my dog that I'm gonna write about for my writing, something that my dog likes to do. So, here we go, let me get my board because we're gonna do some writing today and we're gonna use the same sentences in the book. So I'm gonna do, oh, let me, Think about it first with my proloquo to go. Clear the top, time to write a sentence. I'm gonna hold down I to get my, 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 cause I'm gonna talk about my dog. My dog, dog. Mm, my dog, where is it? Likes like to, to, my dog likes to, oh, action words with your body. My dog likes to hug. My dog likes to hug. Hug. All right, time to write it. My. Hi, Heather. If you're just joining, we're doing some writing about we dogs because we just read a book about dogs. My name's Amanda Hartman. I'm a speech pathologist with the Sister Wear. I can see people are joining and leaving our Facebook Live um, as we go. My dog, space likes, oh, what did I say? Oh, to hug, hug, oh, I know, 
when I write the word hug, I can hear the letter H. H, H. Let me think about the other sounds. A U hug G. on the end I hear the letter G hug I can sound that one out likes to oh I need left out a word hug oh I need it full stop at the end my dog likes to hug and that was by Amanda okay over to you can you guys help write a sentence Thinking about something you think dogs like to do? I wonder. I'm here. There was mine. My dog like to hug. But I'm asking you a question. What, what do you think? What do you, do you think? think? What do you think? What else could we write? Let's see if somebody can write a sentence for me. And I'm going to write it on my board. The dog likes to... <gasps> this is called predictable chart writing. And I'm only doing the very first part of it, of course. Um, you can learn more about predictable chart writing on the core, uh, project core. Okay. Oh, Evan and Olivia said, my dog likes to oh, play, play things, toys, ball. Oh, play ball. They like to play ball. Okay, let me check. They wrote, my dog likes to play ball oh play ball play ball and at the end full stop and i know who wrote that that was evan and olivia all right there we go anyone else Thank you for sharing the link. So predictable chart writing, you can do group and um, write lots of different sentences where you have the, the beginning part done and you fill in the gap, but you can do it over a whole week. There's a whole range of activities to really get into the writing, which is fun. Aha, my friend Mary has a good one. She said, mm, let me write it. Let's help write a whole sentence. My. My. Animals, my dog, dog. my dogs like likes to, to eat. eat treats, lots of treats, <laughs> good one, okay, my dog, space, likes, space, to eat treats, <laughs> I, oh, I forgot a full stop, Silly Miss Amanda, a period on the end. Mary, okay, did we have? Oh, Taylor said, my dog likes to bark. Woof, 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 so noisy. And did Luna say one too? Oh, Miss Luna wrote, oh, I can do that one. She wrote, my, my animals, my dog, dog. my dog likes like to. to. Action words with the body. Likes to run. Run. My dog likes to run. My dog likes to run. <laughs> Great ideas, you guys. We could have make a whole book of this. My dog likes to run. Run by Luna. Look at our big long list of sentences. Now I'm going to do something, oh, I have something to say, something different because I want to publish one of those into, I want to add it to the Pictello story that we already have. So if you can remember, I'm going to tap down the bottom, I need to go to my recents and I'm going to see, oh, here was the sentence I wrote. My dog liked to hug. My dog liked to hug. Remember, I even had a photo of it. Aha, uh -huh. let me see. <laughs> so, now that I've got my sentence up the top, I'm actually going to go to my tools pop-up and I'm going to copy it. I copied my sentence. Now let's go into my Pictello story. Let's edit. Dogs like to play. Okay, let's go. 
I'm going to add a page. I'm going to choose my picture. Where oh, where oh, where oh, there's the picture of my dog having a hug. Let's use it. And next. And now I'm going to click paste on my keyboard. My dog likes to. My dog likes to hug. I, hug. I added my page to the story. And say next and done. Now. Dogs like to play. We just read this book, but dogs look. Dogs like to. Look, I dog. skip forward, skip, Some skip. Dogs. We already read Some this. Dogs. Quick. Go, dogs. go, Some. where's mine? Some, Some dogs, dogs like to play with the... Some... <gasps> Some... Wait. Dog. <gasps> my dog like to hug. Ah, I put my sentence. I copied my sentence from Prolo Go right into my Pictello story. <gasps> How cool is that? So then you can do writing and you can publish your writing right into Pictello. Aha! Cool. All right, let's check the time. I think we're nearly out of time, Miss Amanda. More. The time is 7.21 a.m. The time is 7.21 a.m. So let's keep moving because we have to now do dog houses, dog houses so we can practice the core word in. First of all, dogs. Woof, woof, woof. Oh, I have something to say. I'm going to get... get. All my dogs out. Let's count them. Okay. One. Where will I put them? Two. Three. Four. Five little dogs. Five little dogs. Five little dogs. Where will they go? We have to put them in their houses. Okay, here's the houses. Let's build it. Okay, so I'm going to start here on the bottom and I'm going to build it up. Oh, I, I want more houses. Build it up. More. Put it on, mm. build it up. up, build it up, build it up, build it up, build it up. Oh, I've got lots of little houses. Okay, now we have to clear, let's move that a bit. We have to put them, put, put them in. in the houses, in. Oh, here goes the dog, not on, no, not on. We have to put them in. in. In the house. Do, 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 do. <gasps> All right, we're gonna go in. in. In the house. In the house he goes. Ooh, let's do some more. Mm. All the dogs, let's write a sentence. Let's write a sentence. <laughs> the things, animals, the dog, dog is, is going go. in. in the yeah. Places more house. House. The dog is going the house. Going in the house. In the house. Oh, have I got some more dogs there? Wait, two more dogs. Okay. Remember. Oh, our sentence. The was, dog is going the house. Going in the house. In he goes. In. In he goes. Is this where's room down the bottom? And in the greenhouse. Oh, I'm gonna put him. In, in describing word colours, the green, the green, a one, one, in, in green one, in in the green one, in in the green one. Aha! See, when I played this game, I had lots of chances to practice saying in. In. Okay. Uh oh, the house is getting wobbly. What's happening? I think it's gonna fall down. Down. Ready? Set. Go! Woo! Fall down. down. You know what? The dogs are not, not in. They're not in the house anymore. They all fell out. Out, out they go. Bye bye, doggies. Okay. Well, finished. we're finished with that. And remember, Got finished. And remember, looking at our schedule, we questions. now have some time for some questions. 
Okay. <laughs> hey, is that my friend Najee there? Hi, Najee. You're watching today. Good morning. Good to see you. All right. So you guys... We have time for questions now, and while you guys are thinking of a question, I have a question for you all. Um, we'd love to know what you think about our Facebook Lives and, and how often we should run them and all those things, but most importantly, we'd love you to share your ideas of what good books or topics we could write. So if you've got any favourite books, put them in and let me know what books would you like to see me read here on our Facebook lives what activities would you like to see me model okay but it's over to you guys now we've got time for questions we've got just a couple of minutes um, so please let us know and I know that we had a question so um, so a question for Mary is there a preferred spot to add the sentence um, top or bottom in Pictello I'm assuming that you mean I like to put the sentence along the bottom in Pictello generally because then the pictures on top and the text is underneath it but if you have two sentences or double text you can do you can do it yeah um, hopefully I've answered that I think it is personal preference I just like it along the bottom because then I can be reading and still see the picture if I've got my finger on the words so now, there was another question from Finn way, way, way back. I wonder, Finn, if you are still there, whether you... I think your name is Finn, too. Um, okay, so I'm just trying to go back in the comments and see if I can see your question. Okay, so other than reminding my AAC user to say the whole sentence, what can I do to help him remember restate once he's completed his thought? Yeah. Um, so this is a good question. Sometimes, um, yeah, we, we have the sentence bar. Um, so the question from Finn was about how you get that I've written a sentence and then I, um, I said there's a few different ways you can do it. Sometimes when we're modeling, <coughs> we're modeling lots of things um, no. and put, put. In, in you end up with a string of random phrases and if I tap that no put in. it becomes a gobbledygook not like a full sentence so I tend to always just like we do for everything that we model we model how um, how we might do it so oh I'm doing lots of I'm showing you some little words oh and then I will say let me write a sentence and then I purposefully double tap to clear and then start again and I model writing the sentence and then I say tap to listen or tap to hear or say it all or I say all of those variations um, so that then after I've written a sentence I like to let's write a play. sentence oh let's hear it I like to play so that you can hear that whole sentence being said back the other thing is that if oh, me, say eat if, if you do sure. Come, look. If you do have a collection of random and you accidentally hit it, oh, next. if I tap it again, it actually stops it from being read aloud. So if your son accidentally um, taps the whole message window and you've got that long string of things that he said, if you can teach him and show him how to tap it again, oh, next. when I tap it again, it silences it. So um, that might help. Okay, so hopefully I've answered your question, but please let me know if I haven't. And, um, okay, good, I'm just reading your questions. Jenny said, um, how would you encourage a new AAC user to use their device? The biggest thing is that we don't use an AA, we don't make AAC look like work. We have to make it be fun. So when you get an AAC, don't use it to test what kids may or may not know. Don't use AAC to boss them around. Don't make it unfun because if it's unfun, it shouldn't be done. You need to make them. Um, you need to customize it so that it has the words and the things that they most want to talk about. And you need to use AAC in everyday natural interactions, doing the things that you would like to. Connect together about. Um, we really, really got to get away from the idea that AAC is work. We want it to. We want it to them to realise how fun and enjoyable it is to say all the words for the things that they want to talk about. So that's probably my best advice: is just to try and make it fun and figure out ways that you can connect together. 
and 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 again I can't say it, don't use it to test what kids may or may not know and don't use it to boss them around because then that just becomes work and unfun and um, you know kids will not be engaged it's all about engaging and finding the things that they like so um, so somebody has just asked about the visual schedule so um, I've created there's a YouTube video of me showing oh, see oh, oh. Come look. <laughs> There's a, a YouTube video, Pam, um, we can share the link for you. Um, so today we read a story in Pictello and um, I converted it from a Tar Heel reader. So the links are also in the video here today for you if you want to look up how I converted a Tar Heel reader into a Pictello story. So that we read our book about, about where was it? Dogs like to play. About dogs like to play. So um, thank you so much for joining today. Um, bye, Evan. Bye, Taylor. Thanks so much, so much for everybody for joining in again. I better get out of here. Bye.